Hey guys, I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston. So I firmly believe that confidence is sexier than any outfit a guy could possibly put together. You could be the sharpest dresser around because of course you've watched all of my videos multiple times, but it doesn't mean a thing if you're not comfortable in your own skin. Now, I know for a fact that balding or thinning hair is one of the biggest confidence killers out there, and I've worked with a number of clients whose self-esteem levels had plummeted due to hair loss. It's undeniably one of the most frustrating things that a guy can go through, but there are several ways to deal with it, which is what this video is all about. I've put together a list of some of my favorite hairstyles for men with thinning or balding hairlines that will hopefully give you some ideas on how to look and feel your best. I've also included a few tips and tricks with each to help you channel your inner statham so you can rock your hairstyle like the best of them. To begin our list, I feel it's best to start with the most controversial hairstyle for balding or thinning haired men. So it's gotten a bad rep over the last few decades thanks to being associated with English soccer players, bowling champions, and certain reality TV stars turned presidents. That's right boys, it's comb over time. So contrary to popular belief, the humble comb over, if styled correctly, can be a great way to style your thinning and create a modern and sophisticated look. It's cool, clean, easy to maintain, and if done well, will make it look like you have more hair than you actually do. So the trick to a good comb over is to first, ensure this is possible for you. So if you've got thicker hair in the front of your head, but thinning on the mid scalp or crown area, then this hairstyle I'd recommend for you. First, you want to use a plumping shampoo and conditioner so your hair can be as thick as possible to provide the most coverage. Then you want to grow the top and side of your hair longer than the sides by your ears. So anywhere from two to five or six inches would be ideal. Then in order to style it, you should comb it over or back over the receding areas of hair using a light styling cream or a pomade on dry hair, depending on how much hold you want. Now, if you're seeing your scalp easily through your combed hair, then I would really suggest, if you're up for it, looking into using some topic hair building fibers on the exposed areas because it basically covers smaller areas of exposed scalp and makes your hair look thicker and fuller than it is. Just a warning though, if you're going to be sweating a lot, I wouldn't try it because it may start clumping and potentially running down the sides or front of your head. When done well though, the comb over draws the gaze of the onlooker downwards and makes your facial features look more accentuated and distinguished. I'd also recommend a fade on the sides as this will help to balance everything out. Pair this hairstyle with a nicely groomed beard or some George Michael stubble and you'll look so deliciously sexy, I promise. The next pick is one that continues to look good over 2,000 years after it was invented in an ancient Roman barbershop. The chosen look for everyone from military leaders to modern day leading men, I am talking of course about the textured Caesar. So the Caesar is a great low maintenance style for those with thinning hair in the front region as it uses the fringe to camouflage your receding hairline, thus creating a short and natural look. Again, just like before, you should definitely use a plumping shampoo and conditioner to ensure your hair is as thick as possible to provide the most coverage. So I really love this one because it's a hairstyle that keeps on coming back into fashion and it's a personal favorite of everyone, from Gerard Butler to George Clooney. And my go-to rule is if George is doing it, it can't be wrong except for his role in Batman and Robin. That was all sorts of wrong. So to achieve the perfect textured Caesar haircut, you wanna clip it quite tight on the back and sides while going for a finger length textured cut on the top and front. 
for the styling of it, you wanna use a product that's not as thick as say a gel or a wax because that can clump parts of your hair together and make it look all lopsided uneven. The goal is to give your hair texture. So instead, go for something lighter like a matte mud or a clay or even just a light spray of hairspray if you want to have that full Dapper Dan look. So as we've been discussing, one of the facts of life is that going bald just plain sucks. But before you go to the comment section to ask, hey Ashley, by the way, this is my YouTube commenter voice, aren't there any ways that modern technology can help me with my hair loss? Well, I can safely say that the answer is yes, thanks to today's sponsor, iRestore. As you may know, I've been working in the men's style industry for over a decade now, and as a result, I've come across every one-stop, life-changing hair loss solution on the market. Luckily, the good people at iRestore are changing the hair loss game, specializing in safe and effective solutions for improving health and beauty. So they use FDA-cleared, clinically proven technology, their state-of-the-art products provide men and women of all ages a risk-free way to hold on to their hair. So what really stood out to me about the iRestore device is its hands-free functionality. So here you can see the built-in LED lights located inside the helmet. So these are used to stimulate the hair follicles when you wear it. It also features a rechargeable battery pack, which you can clip to your pocket while you do your household chores, or just put to one side while you're relaxing in front of your favorite Netflix show. So at this stage, you might be asking, how exactly does it work? Well, allow me to get scientific for a moment. See, your hair spends the majority of its life in the antigen or growth phase, which usually lasts between two to six years, depending on your genetics. This is followed by the catagen or transitional phase in which your body stops your hair follicles blood supply while remaining attached to your scalp. So after this comes the telogen or resting phase when your hair follicle essentially falls asleep until a new hair shaft grows in place and pushes the old hair out. This process is known as shedding. So how iRestore works and what sets it apart from its competitors is its use of low level light therapy. So as we've discussed, hair is either in the process of growing, resting, or falling out. And iRestore is the only device on the market that combines 282 lasers and LEDs to provide the correct light output and power level to stimulate the hair follicles, thus reversing the hair thinning process. And before you say LEDs don't work, there are now NASA back studies that say that they do, and if used correctly, they can penetrate deep enough beneath the surface of the skin to stimulate the hair follicle. And for further hair nourishment, simply pair the device with the accompanying Max Growth to revitalize hair follicles and improve hair density. So for a limited time only, you can save hundreds of dollars off the price of an iRestore device with my discount code in the description. Still not convinced? Well, unlike other companies, the iRestore team is so confident in their products that they offer a 12-month satisfaction guarantee with every purchase so you can see the results for yourself. Okay, moving on. The next entry on my list of sexiest haircuts for men with thinning or balding hair is a look that has been sported by soldiers, writers, Ryans, kings, and everyone in between. It's one that guys keep on coming back to because of its simplicity, functionality, and incredibly clean aesthetic. I'm talking, of course, about the crew cut. So before you ask what separates a crew cut from a buzz cut, allow me to explain. While the buzz cut is usually the same blade used all over the head, the crew cut has tapered sides, allowing for as much length as you want on top. This tight and timeless hairstyle can be worn by just about anybody, but it's a great choice for men who are going thin on top because it's supposed to look thin on top. It can be worn at a variety of lengths, but if you happen to have a bald spot, it should be cut particularly short so that it all blends nicely together. Like the comb over, this particular style can make it look like you have more hair than you actually do particularly if you can leave some length on top towards the front. Now remember, 
Go easy on the styling products though, as too much paste or pomade in a crew cut can lead to a more uneven overall look and draw unwanted attention to your scalp. And now, to end my list of hairstyles for men with thinning or balding hair, we have a pick that just screams masculine. Gentlemen, do you want something raw? Do you want something rugged? Do you want something really, really, uh, I ran out of words beginning with R, but low maintenance? Then look no further than the buzz cut. Okay, so you probably saw this one coming, but I honestly feel that a buzz cut is something you should definitely consider going for if you are in the process of losing your hair. It's minimal, it's stylish, and it's even a style you can give yourself in the comfort of your own home, provided you have a decent pair of clippers. Women love it when a man rocks this particular look because it shows that he is able to take control and embrace who he really is. And hey, it seemed to work out pretty well for Jason Statham. It may surprise you to know that the buzz cut is not just one style, but instead is rather a family of hairstyles with several variations to choose from. These include a buzz cut with a fade, a widow's peak, and the no holds barred induction cut, which is essentially using the clippers with no guard attached to create the shortest possible style. When going for a buzz cut hairstyle, it's important to work with what you have. So try balancing it out with some sexy stubble or a well-groomed beard, or even a nice pair of glasses to accentuate your facial features. And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.